Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez back again. My throat is really acting up right now, but bear with me. A long time ago, people got very upset with printers such as HP and other non-Epson or Canon brands. Well, some Epson brands as well, um, models that is, uh, because apparently they felt that they were throwing away ink every time they exchanged a cartridge for a new one. The cartridge was declared empty, but they just sort of felt, I mean, they could hear ink inside the cartridge. And so there was a class action suit and, well, you know the story. If you, if you do the research, you'll know what I'm talking about. So Epson decided to redesign some of their newer cartridges. The cartridges on the XP15000, they have a valve inside them that allow the cartridge to use up the last several ml of ink without putting the printhead at danger in other words once it reaches a certain physical level the valve is triggered and then it knows how much ink is left and it will then continue to use up that ink when you throw away that cartridge if you're one of those that throws them away then you're basically throwing away a minuscule amount of ink now other cartridges such as these oh no these these held on to at least two ml of ink inside them and if you price it at about 90 to a dollar per milliliter, that's how much you're throwing away. These were just absolutely ridiculous. You threw away 10 ml of ink every time you got rid of one of those. The reason being, these have an ink bag inside. That ink bag holds not just 80, what the factory so-called amount of ink or volume of ink is, but 90. It wanted to make sure that there was always going to be more than the requirement that the chip supposedly is programmed to report on, in other words. So it knows that when it reaches 80 ml, give or take, one way or the other, it's going to declare the chip empty, but there's still no danger because there's going to be sufficient amount of ink in that bag because you cannot collapse the bag. It cannot be collapsed. The same thing happens with the Pro 10 Canon cartridges. These have an internal bladder. And so you really cannot go fully, fully empty. You can let that chip go empty, no problem, in refilling it. The XP15000, once that valve is triggered, you can no longer refill that cartridge to full capacity. It'll block off several milliliters of ink. So instead of going up to the 26 total grams of weight, you can only go to maybe 23 grams of weight. So you're losing capacity. Now, what I do with that is I refill them long before that occurs, before that valve is triggered. But anyway, going back to whether you are throwing away ink when the chip is declared empty. Now, the Pro 100 cartridges or any other Canon type sponge cartridge, it has to have some ink left in that sponge because now we're dealing with a thermal print head. And the thermal print heads generate droplets of ink via heat. So a certain number of picoliters of ink, it expands that ink because it's getting hot and it is expelled onto your sheet of paper, drop by drop. And so in order to keep that process from overheating the internal components of your printhead, you don't want that to happen. It uses the same ink that is flowing through it to sort of maintain it at a proper operating temperature. So if you run out of ink, because you, you're greedy and you wanna use up every molecule of your ink in your sponge, you're going to overheat and kill your printhead a lot more prematurely than you normally would expect. And so it has to keep a certain number of milliliters of ink in that sponge, maybe a couple, not that much, but enough so that it never runs dry the last print that you produce and you get the red X on that cartridge, you still have some ink left. In other words, so it's not going over the danger zone of overheating that print. If, you, if it thinks you have ink and it still continues to allow you to print and you overheat that channel, there's no way it's cooling itself. There's no ink flowing through the channel itself. So in order to do that, it has to declare itself empty before the sponge is empty. 
that's the way it is. So some cartridges, they, they will use up nearly every droplet. One particular type of cartridge that uses every single droplet, Pro 1000. Okay, you get every droplet. You get um, the best deal for your money, you can say. Well, if you use it properly. Remember, we talked about cleaning cycles and all the, all the little idiosyncrasies of the Pro 1000. But at least it uses every droplet of ink in that cartridge. When it is declared empty, that chip gets a red X. You see it on your printer screen and on your display, driver-wise. That means that cartridge is empty. It's not that the cartridge has a little bit of ink left to make sure. No, it doesn't need to. It can go empty because you have a ton of ink still living inside the printer. So at least these are the only cartridges, along also with the rest of the family of these printers, they will use up every bit of ink. If the cartridge has a sponge, it cannot use every bit of ink, okay? If the cartridge has an ink bag, it cannot use every bit of ink. It has to maintain a certain buffer, if you will. And so that way damage will not occur. You will not burn out your printhead. You will not collapse your uh, system trying to suck ink out when there's no ink left and that bag is collapsed. You see what I mean? So just be aware of what's happening with a lot of these different models. Again, if you if you are one of those that wants to make sure you use up every single drop of ink, then you better get one of these printers. Of course, make sure you got enough work for it because it is a demanding printer, one meant for volume printing or production type printing. Okay. That's it. Thank you so much again. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And as always, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone.